Good Maria, and you would say back to me? Good Maria. Which is good morning. Spoken like a native. I'm impressed. We're here at the Kutztown Fairgrounds in Kutztown, Pennsylvania, site of the Kutztown Folk Festival. We're in our 69th year, it started back in 1950. It's a celebration of Pennsylvania Dutch culture. It attracts 130,000 visitors annually each year. Oh, the founders of the festival felt that Kutztown was in the heart of Pennsylvania Dutch country, and the folks that participated that very first year, they were from the area. Today, the vast majority of the participants are still from right here in this area. One of the things that makes the Kutztown Festival so unique, I think, and stand out above the rest, we haven't lost sight that it's a celebration of the Pennsylvania Dutch culture. We also have a seminar stage talking about the heritage and the culture of the Pennsylvania Dutch. Usually we say, we bisht. We pest. We bisht. We bisht. Right? Or which means, how are you? Or sometimes you would ask, we gates. We gates. Which is, how's it going? You can say, good. You can say, not so good. If you're really bad, you can say, schlecht. Schlecht. Schlecht, which is bad. We highlight the arts and crafts of the Pennsylvania Dutch, as well as traditional crafts from throughout America. I am painting a traditional barn star. This is actually a particular design that you'll find in the Lehigh Valley. These are indigenous barn decorations that you'll find all throughout this part of Pennsylvania, and they are distinctive to the Pennsylvania Dutch. The term hex sign is an interesting thing because today most people know these as hex signs. You find more and more people are calling them barn stars because that's originally what people called them. The word hex sign was only coined in the 1920s. It was after reports from a famous travel journalist by the name of Wallace Nutting. He claimed that these designs were specifically to guard from witches, and thus the word hex was introduced there. He didn't get the story right, but that term has been repeated over and over and over again. We're gonna be doing this demonstration at the festival all throughout this week. This is called an auto harp. It's an old folk type instrument. It was popularized by the Carter family. They had a daughter named June who married some guy you never heard of named Johnny Cash. The harp is because of all the strings you can see. Automatic is because it's so easy to play chords on here. If you look under the bars, you see white stuff and spaces. And you push down the bar for whatever chord you want. The felt, the white stuff, blocks the bad notes. The spaces let the good notes make noise. It's easy to play chords on here. Just push a bar and strum. In Pennsylvania Dutch, we say, eat till you ouch, and visitors have every opportunity here for that. We've got everything from all types of sausage sandwiches, bratwurst, we have a pig roast, we've got full sit-down Pennsylvania Dutch meals. Off to my left here is our Bartow Birch Distillery. We use it to demonstrate the extraction of birch oil, which is the main ingredient in birch beer. It can also be used to extract sassafras as a main ingredient in sarsaparilla. Birch beer and sarsaparilla, two of the most popular drinks here at the festival, and get to see this 200-year-old whiskey still in operation as well. This year's Kutztown Folk Festival starts Saturday, June 30th, runs for nine straight days, summertime tradition, bring the whole family, great arts and crafts, Pennsylvania Dutch food, the best quilts in the country, six stages of entertainment. Come on out, eat till you ouch. We're open morning, afternoon, and evenings.